Two sources tell Fox News that investigators ran Saipov through their databases after the attack and his name popped in connection to a handful of individuals who are already known to law enforcement as part of a broader terrorism investigation. It's not clear from our reporting this morning whether it was a single case or multiple cases or whether the cases remain open, but Fox was told Saipov had closed ties and, quote, the group he ruled with was known to law enforcement before the attack. After an initial review, the evidence points to an ISIS-inspired, not ISIS-directed attack, with a suspect following the ISIS al-Qaeda playbook to a T for using vehicles as weapons. Recent online propaganda instructed followers to use trucks, then launch a second attack using knives or guns, and to leave evidence at the scene linking the attack to the terror group, which is what happened in this case. This morning, the Republican chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee was asked about reports he came into the U.S. through a diversity program. The lottery system, I've always been against it because it's a random uh, system to bring people into the United States. It's not merit-based. Why aren't we, you know, scrutinizing people over there before they can even get into the country with a higher vetting system, putting ICE agents over in consulate and embassy offices? Source close to the matter says that based on the electronic evidence so far, the suspect was actively searching online for ISIS instructions for using vehicles as weapons. Sandra. Catherine, has there been a claim of responsibility yet? Well, there's been no official claim of responsibility through the ISIS media branch known as the Amok News Service. But it's significant that known ISIS accounts, what counterterrorism analysts call leadership accounts, are applauding the attack, showing photos of the attack, and using an unusual hashtag at the slap of terrorism. We reviewed some of the online translations, and they refer, refer to the ISIS spokesman Al Adnani, who was killed in a 2016 airstrike. And these posts talk about seeking revenge for his death.